recommended as an educational and informational program for children. Thanks for joining us today on It's Academics. Let's get to our opening round. We start our teams out with 100 points, and in this first round, 10 points for each correct answer, 10 points off should our teams miss. Teams, our category, all of your answers will begin with the letter T. The letter T. We begin. This garment was worn by male citizens of ancient, yes, Franklin. Toga. Toga of ancient Rome. That's it. Thank you, Gabe. Lyme disease is caused by this insect. Franklin. Tick. Tick, that's right. Remember, all of your answers begin with a T. Old Rough and Ready was the nickname of this 12th Franklin. Taylor. Taylor. Zachary Taylor was the 12th president. Yes, indeed. The Greek god Poseidon often carried. Yes. Trident. A trident. Thank you, Johan. Yes, indeed. A three pronged spear. This Alabama Institute was founded by. Yes, Franklin. Tuskegee. Tuskegee by Booker T. Washington. You know your T's. Next. This is a baby frog. John Carroll. Tadpole. Tadpole. Tadpole, that's it, Jacob. Next, this is a solid figure with four plain triangular faces. We went silent. It's a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron. And lastly, the last T. This is the capital city of Florida. Franklin. Tallahassee. Tallahassee is the T, and that's the end of the opening round on its academics. It's academics with David Zare. It's academic brought to you by Giant. New things are happening at Giant, and by Morgan State University, growing the future, leading the world. Listen to that crowd. They've got all kinds of spirit out there. Everybody's got signs. We've got cowbells out there. They're all here cheering for nine great players. The first three hail from Milford Mill and Zoe and Amaya. Nice to have you back again. Anya, nice to have you here for the first time. I think we've got two juniors and a sophomore over there. Zoe, tell us about yourself, please. Hello, my name is Zoe. I'm currently a junior at Milford Mill Academy. In addition to its academic, I am in the Milford Mills Band and Milford Mills New Paper Club. I'd like to thank our three alternates, Caroline Newman, Trevor Jenkins, and Aaron Adabanjo for coming. They were waiting to hear their names. You've done good, <laughs> Zoe. You've done good. I like the matching uh, Milford Mill shirt you got on over there, too. Amaya, nice to have you back again. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amaya Bell. I'm a junior at Milford Mill Academy. In addition to its academic, I'm a part of our school's National Honor Society Art Club and the Literary Arts Magnet Program. I would like to thank our dynamic coach, Ms. Donna Power Murphy, and our administration for their support throughout the year. Your coach appreciated dynamic. That was a good <laughs> adjective there, Maya. A very busy young lady, a very accomplished young lady, too. Anya, welcome to the show. Tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Anya Kearney. I'm a sophomore at Milford Mill Academy. In addition to participating in its academic, I'm also in Milford's um, magnet vocal program. And I would like to thank our friends, family, and faculty, those in the studio and at home, for their unconditional love and support. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. A lot of people behind the scenes. Thank you, Anya. All right, ladies, look at your monitor. These questions are for you. 20 points, no penalty should you miss. We begin. Tripolar gondolas. You should also try to find within this sentence the name of what noble gas with atomic number 18. If you look carefully, you'll find A-R-G-O-N for argon there. Next, bal to cadmium. You'd consult this volume of an old encyclopedia to learn about what Roman god of wine associated with the Greek Dionysus. See. Between those two words, you'd find Bacchus, B-A-C-C-H-U-S. Next, the Department of Inland Security was created after 9-11. Boy, that doesn't sound right. Can you change one word and make the statement correct? Homeland. Homeland instead of inland. That's right. Good. Octave and octopus. The first three letters of each of these words is a prefix denoting what number? Eight. Eight, Eight it is. You got it. She was as sensitive as a blank. 
You can complete this description by naming what device invented by Torricelli to measure atmospheric pressure. You may have one in your house. A barometer. A barometer. That's the end of the round for Mill for Mill. Takes you to 140. 140. Moving up next to the team from John Carroll, all brand new to our program here and accomplished young people, all of them. We're bookended by Jacobs here today. Jacob, number one, tell us your story. Hi, my name is Jacob Deaver. I'm a 17-year-old junior at John Carroll. In addition to academic team, I am a member of Games Club, a member of Chess Club, Boy Scouts, and I play the tenor drums in the school band. Oh, very I, I'd like to thank our alternates, Dylan and Abby, and the rest of our team for coming out and supporting us. Absolutely. They were waiting to hear their names, too. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, uh, Alexis, nice to have you here today. Tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Alexis Loader. I'm an 18-year-old senior at John Carroll. In addition to academic team, I'm also involved in National Honor Society, Chemathon, and I'm a captain on the field hockey team. I'd like to thank our John Carroll faculty and administration for coming to support us today. A scholar, athlete. And were you saying, or Jacob was saying, that you're the valedictorian of your class? Congratulations mm -hmm. on you. that. You're welcome. Jacob, number two, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Jacob Barrett. I'm a 17-year-old senior from John Carroll. In addition to academic team, I'm a Maryland General Assembly student page, and I'm a member of our indoor track team. I'd like to thank our friends and families for coming out to support us today. Wonderful. And uh, um, I'm going to do a video on the student pages in about two weeks, so maybe I'll see you there, Jacob. <laughs> All right, look at your monitor, please, John Carroll. These questions are for you. A radio warning. Be warned that this phrase contains the hidden name of what Midwestern state whose capital city is Des Moines? Iowa. Iowa. Iowa's correct. Soap to Tunisia. It's in this volume of an old encyclopedia that you'd learn about what river of Hades across which the souls of the dead were ferried. The Styx. Styx is right. In the Bible, God destroyed the wicked cities of Sodom and Galveston. That doesn't sound right. Can you change one word and make it a correct statement? Gamora. Gamora instead of Galveston. That's it, Alexis. Blank critical and blank active. To change these words to mean excessively critical and excessively active, they should be preceded by what five-letter prefix beginning with the letter H? Hyper. Hyper is right. And lastly, at 20, a man is full of fight and blank. To complete this quotation from Clarence Darrow, place in the blank what emotional quality that was left in Pandora's box after all the evils escaped. Hope. Hope it is. And that's the good round for John Carroll. Takes you to 210. And our third team today hails from Franklin. Those that know all their T's over here. Gabe, nice to have you back with us today. This is your fourth year with us. Yeah. You started as a freshman, so you grew up in front of us here. You're a wonderful player, and it's nice to have you back. Tell us a little about yourself. Hi, I'm Gabe. I'm a senior at Franklin High School. And in addition to its academic, I run cross country and I'm in Rho Kappa. I would like to thank our coaches, Ms. Boyd and Ms. Jennings, and our principal, Mr. McCusker, for coming out and supporting us today. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? When they're here and they're endorsing your efforts, and I know behind the scenes they've really been helping you a lot. Thanks, Gabe. And back for, I think, her third time. Lily, tell us the Lily story. My name is Lily Fleischer. I am a senior at Franklin High School. In addition to its academic, I play viola in our school orchestra, and I am on the mock trial team. I would like to thank our alternates, James, Jason, and Henry, our sponsors, Giant and Morgan State, and our wonderful host, Dave Zarin. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lily. Give them an extra 100 points. <laughs> Very gracious, thank you. Johan, tell us about yourself. This is your first time on the show, yes? yes. Welcome. Hi, my name is Johan Galeza, and I am a senior at Franklin High School. In addition to its academic, I am in Mu Alpha Theta, I am in our school's science Olympiad team, and I play the alto saxophone in our symphonic jazz and marching bands. I would like to thank all our friends and families for coming out here to support us today. Wonderful. Another big man on camp. Should do a lot over there, Johan. All right, Franklin, these are for you. Look at your monitor, please. Black or available. You'll dig up 20 points if you can find here the hidden name of what Asian country, still divided into two hostile states and the site of a bitter war in the early 1950s. Korea. That's it. Pine to Pyrrhus. You'd look in this volume of an old encyclopedia to learn about what mythical titan who gave fire to mankind. Prometheus. That's right. Thank you, Gabe, for your help. A 19th century mail system using fast horses was called the Federal Express. No, I don't think so. Can you change one word and correct it? 
federal to pony? That's it. Blank port and blank plant. What same five letter, letter prefix should come before these words to have them mean to carry across and to plant in another place? Trans. Trans is correct, yes. Last question for you in this round. Blank is fleeting, but obscurity is forever. You can complete this quotation from Napoleon by adding what word that precedes hallelujah in the battle hymn of the republic? Glory. Glory it is. Nicely done, Franklin. Take your 260. moves on to the playoffs and we have something for everybody today. That's because the Baltimore Orioles are once again proud to support its academic. They'll be providing tickets next season for all of today's competing students. You know, celebrating the success of our young people makes us all fans. Look at her. Find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education and in the lives of youth in our community. Why don't you visit them? Go to Orioles.com slash community. Slide into home like this guy right here. And before you go out to that ballpark, check us out on the It's Academic Facebook page. Before we ask any more questions, let's check that score. It's a good game. Right now, Milford Mill is at 140. John Carroll is at 210. And Franklin is at 260. Nicely played. Perfect round. In this next round, it's competitive. Everybody plays. There's a picture with each question. 20 points for each correct answer. 20 points should you miss. First picture coming into view. Smart art historians know that this is an ancient statue of what classical goddess of wisdom? Yes, Franklin. Athena. Athena it is. Or Minerva. Nicely done, Johan. Next. This is what river that George Washington crossed on Christmas? John Carroll. Delaware. It is indeed the Delaware. I got that one in. Stereo. Next picture. This historic document shows the discovery of North America in 1000 AD by what relative of Eric the Red? Yes, Franklin. We're looking for Leif Erikson. Leif Erikson there. Next. What is the value of X in this equation? Yes, Franklin. Three. It is three. Nicely done, Lily. Next. Due to the large eye spots on its wings, this butterfly is nicknamed for what colorful bird whose tail is supposedly set? John Carroll. Swallowtail. No, the peacock. The peacock. The hundred eyes of the mythical Argus. Next. The herb fennel became popular in Europe after it was introduced by what king of the Franks who was crowned emperor in 800? John Carroll. Charlemagne. Charlemagne. You got it, Jacob. Next. This lovely mineral is stibnite, a source of what element whose symbol is SB? Franklin. Antimony. It is antimony, absolutely. And last picture coming up. This seashell shares its name with what kind of fruit tree whose branches are extended as a symbolic peace offering? Franklin. Olive. Olive it is, and that's the end of the picture perfect round. To honor the memory of its academics creator, we are presenting the 2020 Sophie Altman Coach of the Year Award. Established by Giant Food, the award is a tribute to all of our its academic coaches. And to learn how to nominate your coach, check out our website, the its academic quiz show .com. And we have some wonderful coaches with us in the studio right now and some outstanding administrators. Let's meet them. Let's go to Milford Mill, currently with 140 points. And Amaya, would you do the honors? Who'd you bring with you today? To my left, we have our amiable coach, Miss Donna Powell Murphy. Amiable, I like that. And to our right, we have our assistant principal, Miss Valerie Thomas. And she's amiable, too. I can tell. I can tell. Thank you both for being here for all you do to help these young ladies. John Carroll currently with 230 points. And Alexis, uh, tell us who's standing behind you there, if you would. This is our coach, Mr. Deaver, and this is our vice principal, Mrs. Atanasio. Thank you for taking time to be here and supporting this John Carroll team. They're doing a fine job. 
in with 320 points in the lead right now, Lily. Uh, I understand red and blue are your school colors. So, boy, you, you <laughs> planned this really well. Tell us who is back there. To my right, we have our coach and AP Lit teacher, Ms. Boyd. Directly behind me is our principal, Mr. McCusker. And to my left is our other coach, Ms. Jennings, another English teacher. Real team effort there. Thank you all for being here and taking time. You know, in the next round of questions, should our teams answer all eight of our questions correctly, we make a big fuss. We give them 25 bonus points, we light up lights, we release balloons, we even have some special music we play. And the lights are flashing in front of you, Alexis, right now. So would you be good enough to pick packet one, two, or three for Milford Mill? Packet one. Packet one. Okay. Zoe and Amaya and Anya. I know you can do it. Let's get all eight. I want to see those balloons. Don't let me down. Here we go. According to myth, singing apples that could persuade anyone to do anything were guarded by a dragon in what largest African desert? Sahara. Sahara. You got it, Zoe. Next. Disposing of the Nemean lion and the hydra were only two of the difficult labors assigned to what mythical Greek strongman? Hercules. Hercules it is. The first 9-11 emergency call was made in 1968 in Haleyville, a small town in what southern state whose largest city is Birmingham? Alabama. Alabama. That's it. Science question for you ladies. Look at your monitor. Which of these compounds is organic? Second. Second one. C2H5OH. Ethyl alcohol. Nicely done. Next, the manufacture of beer was the focus of an 1872 study on fermentation by what French chemist who later found a vaccine for rabies? Also came up with pasteurization. Louis Pasteur was the right answer there. Next, teenage romance doesn't always end happily. But what Shakespeare tragedy ends with the deaths of both the young Romeo title Julia, characters, yeah. Romeo and Juliet, absolutely. Math question for you. Look at your monitor. Evaluate this expression, giving me your answer as an integer, please. Two. Uh, actually, 81. 81 was the right answer there. Last question for you in this round. The first president to throw out the opening ball of the baseball season was not the athletic Teddy Roosevelt, but the man who succeeded him, our 27th president. Who was that? Pick a president. <laughs> it was William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft. That's the end of the round for Milford Mill. It takes you to 240. Bonus I didn't get to see my balloons. I'm not going to hold that against you. John Carroll, you have a chance to get those bonus points and see the balloons. Lily, two or three for John Carroll? Two. Two. All right. Jacob, Alexis, and Jacob, I know you can do it. Let's get all eight of these. In 1883, the Navy first launched ships with hulls constructed of what durable metal made from iron and carbon? Steel. Steel. Steel is right, yes. In December, a Christmas tree at the Tennessee Aquarium was lit by the electricity generated by what elongated fish with a one-syllable name? Eel. An eel, that's right. A collector paid almost $80,000 for an unsigned letter to George Washington from what man who was the first to sign the Declaration of Independence? John Hancock. John Hancock is right. Science question for you, John Carroll. Look at your monitor, please. Which of these substances is part of the hormone produced by your thyroid gland and is essential for a normally functioning thyroid? Potassium. Potassium. Ooh, iodine. Iodine was the right answer there. Next, in June 1944, news clips showed a GI barber shop on the beach of what French province that the Allies had invaded on D-Day. Normandy. That's it. Good answer. April 23rd, 1616, saw the death of two of the world's great writers, William Shakespeare and what Spaniard who wrote Don Quixote? Miguel de Cervantes. Indeed. Math question for you. Look at your monitor, please. Simplify this expression, giving me your answer as a positive integer, please. Three. Three. It is three. Last question for you in this round. Vermont saw its first native son reach the White House in 1881, when what vice president succeeded Garfield to become our 21st chief executive? What you got? 
Arthur? It is Chester Arthur. Nicely done. Thank you, Jacob, for your help. Takes you to 370. All right, we came within one question of giving away those bonus points. Our last hope, our last hope to hear the special music and see the balloons. Packet number three, Franklin. Lily Johan and Gabe, you can do it. At the Battle of Gettysburg, one of the cavalry commanders was what young officer who in 1876 made his last stand at Little Bighorn? Custer. Custer is right. In 1998, researchers found five previously missing pages from the World War II diary of what young Jewish girl? Anne Frank. Anne Frank is right. What metallic alloy names the section of an orchestra that contains the trumpets and tubas? Brass. That is right. Mm -hmm. Science question for you. Look at your monitor. Which of these elements is in the same chemical family as potassium? Lithium. Lithium is right. The Strait of Denmark isn't in Denmark. It separates Iceland from what Danish territory that's the largest island in the world? Greenland. That's it. While sea mammals have seldom been pictured on postage stamps, one stamp does picture what whale the title's a novel by Herman Melville. Moby Dick. That is correct. Math question for you on your monitor. Evaluate this expression, giving me your answer as a positive integer, please. 11. It is 11. 25 bonus points if you get this. The last U.S. president to be born in the 1700s was what 15th president elected in 1856. James Buchanan. You knew that one, Cole. James Buchanan, 25 bonus points. Takes it to 505. Well done. And welcome back to Academic. Time for the finale, the grab bag. Let's check the score before we ask any questions. Milford Mill is at 240. John Carroll is at 370. And Franklin is at 505. Nicely played. <laughs> Grab back questions for 20 points, 20 points off. Should our teams miss the visual questions for 30 points up or down? Teams, good luck. And we begin. For many years, English courts would not conduct business on what date that appears on the calendar only once every four years? <laughs> Franklin. Wait, February 29th. February 29th. February 29th. Yeah, Gabe added that we needed to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> Debt collectors can be annoying, but none ask for the pound of flesh. John Carroll. Shylock. Shylock is is. Thank you, Jacob. Time Magazine's 2019 Person of the Year was what Swedish teenager? Franklin. Greta Thunberg. That's right. Next, 30-point question. Look at your monitor. This figure was carved by artisans in Abidjan. The largest city in what African country named for the old trade in elephant tusks? John Carroll. Which guy? Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Nicely done, Jacob. Next. USA Today listed as the best movie of the past decade. What action film subtitled Fury Road? John Carroll. Mad Max. Mad Max is right. Here's a choice. The number of protons in the most common Isotope of the helium atom is two, three, or four. Yes, Milford Mill. Three. First one, two. Next. In 2008, a tourist was fined $17,000 for chipping an earlobe off a giant stone head on what Pacific island named for a spring holiday? Franklin? Easter Island. Easter Island, yes. 30 points on your monitors. The text, did I talk too long? might have been sent by what ancient Roman orator who denounced the Catiline conspiracy? Yes, John Carroll. Cicero. 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 Nicely done, Alexis. Next. In 1960, ooh, the buzzer says we're not going to get any further because our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. We congratulate with 220 points the team from Milford Mill with 470 points the team from John Carroll and with 565 today's winner Franklin High School headed to the playoffs next week Annapolis, Marius Ridge and Towson I'm Dave Zarin hope to see you then audience come on down